A good midday Friday to you. Roger Hill of Weathering Heights, Velco Weather Hazards Forecaster. This weather video is driven by 802cars.com, representing 802 Toyota Twin City Subaru, 802 Honda, all located off of Exit 7 on Interstate 89. Looking at the big picture here, kind of a weak flat ridge across much of the west. It uh, dives, all the jet stream energy is headed into this trough of lower pressure, which gonna, is not so much going to dig it anymore, but actually lift it on out. There's a fair amount of it exiting. And this is going to lift this trough through the region. It's going to be out of here by Saturday afternoon. And that's going to end our significant elevation storm and snowfall. Temperatures off to the west are cold enough to support snow, but not quite yet into the state of Vermont. But that's going to be changing through the afternoon as we see a, a rain to snow combo. That'll accumulate uh, relatively decently. We're talking probably somewhere around 4 to 8, 5 to 10 inches total snowfall up in the mountaintops. And some of the summits may be even a little bit closer to a foot. However, down in the valley floors, far less. We're seeing probably anywhere from about 1 to maybe 3 inches, maybe locally 4 or 5 inches in the intermediate terrain. Uh, especially as you get east of uh, and west of the Green Mountains. Nestled right up against the Green Mountains, there could be some plentiful snowfall. Let's check out the computer modeling world. So this is down about 10 o'clock on uh, Friday morning, and you can see that transition to some snow. And most of the moderate precip in the slightly darker shade of blue there, or purple, that is uh, indicating where the heavier snow is going to fall, uh, terrain driven along the Green Mountains. A pretty good chunk of it across the Adirondack Mountains in the northern uh, into uh, the St. Lawrence River Valley. This is valid by 21Z or about 4 o'clock this afternoon. This is the precipitation that will be falling as it picks up and steams up a little bit uh, during the uh, late part of the day today and into Friday uh, evening. It looks like by Friday overnight, lighter snowfall will begin to uh, accrue as drier air and a colder temperature level aloft and at surface will also make that much more of a powdery type snowfall, a much more drier snowfall. And with the combination of this uh, deepening area of low pressure, uh, 985 hectopascals off of uh, southeast of uh, Maine. Um, in the Gulf of Maine, you can see that the pressure gradient is a little bit tighter, and so we'll have west and northwest flow uh, and picking up some of that snow and drifting and blowing it around, possible whiteouts for tonight. Travel conditions will definitely be affected, and again, winds are marginally strong, so we're not looking at anything that's going to be surpassing 40 miles per hour in terms of gusts, maybe some isolated 40 mile per hour gusts up in the southern Green Mountains, but for the most part, any weak trees, because we haven't really seen a lot of storms recently, I think any weak trees that do fall could produce an isolated outage here and there. But overall, this is not going to be a big deal. Just a lot of snow up in the mountains, and that whole storm system begins to lift on out during the day on Saturday. Sunday looks like the next best day coming in terms of dry project weather. We get the secondary weak system that picks up some moisture off the Great Lakes, as you can see that moving east and into really the southeastern uh, Let's say three-fifths of the state of Vermont, generally about the very Montpelier area and point south. That'll be taking place during the overnight period, Sunday night into early Monday morning. That weather system then pulls off to the east, develops into a nor'easter, but pulls well away of the region. Uh, looking at the uh, rest of the trends here, that area of low pressure then uh, gives us a little bit of a break on Tuesday with the next dry weather possibility. Um, for decent project weather and then a little bit of a skinny ridge of higher pressure but kind of in between weather systems for Tuesday as I mentioned we get into Wednesday we have another short wave that will be dropping in and this will also promote some scattered mainly minor snow showers this time starting out in the north and kind of staying in the north as that zippy little system pulls away very quickly it does look like after as we get into Thursday we might see another short wave trough with a little bit of a warming trend. And you notice that the sort of flat ridge is no longer there now at west. And that means the trough is out of here in the east. So a combination of basically almost a zonal flow of west to east. And typically that warms us up quicker. So that's what's shaping up for the next uh, set of weather systems as we get into Friday. You can see that move in. Looks like we're into rain. And then eventually as we go into Saturday and Sunday, something more major begins to uh, develop and and that weather system looks like it's uh it's uh quite intense but uh, again five to seven days out 
there may not be anything close to this. So we'll have to keep a close eye as we get closer in time for next weekend beyond. Other than that, we'll keep an eye on what's happening this particular weekend, including a significant elevation snowfall event. Looking at the GFS uh, plumes for Montpelier, this is the three hourly uh, storm totals or precipitation totals, I, sh I should say. And this is our main system for this entire period. Now, the overall uh, total QPF looks like this. So we're only looking at between four and six tenths of an inch of total precip in terms of averages. Precipitation type looks like this, rain changing to snow. And then eventually we'll get a little bit more of a mix. And this is a, that weekend storm, which the GFS uh, ensemble is not, uh, not quite got onto, but there's some indication that something could happen there. This is how the GFS ensemble looks at. Uh, now, the European would have this above freezing if there's going to be any rain, but this is the uh, 850 hectopascal temperatures, and again, all snow frozen. Main chunk of moisture is all about moisture there, and you can see it's in the front loaded with the storm ahead. Main snowfall is going to be with this particular system, and then things kind of relax. Weather Prediction Center, folks, uh, for the next seven days of total accumulated precipitation, QPF. We're looking at generally in this uh, 2500 to half inch range, up to one inch amounts. Climate Reanalyzer shows that uh, pretty cold air across uh, to the west of our region as the warmest air exits out, and that's transitioning today, this day, Friday. Two meter temperatures look like this. The warmest day taking place today. This is the GFS ensemble again. And the European has this warm up basically and go above the freezing mark late in the week. Weather prediction centers, uh, one through five day MOS mean high temperature. So we're below normal by around three degrees. And the next three days later, it looks like this. Still about zero to three degrees, a little bit of a warm up. But notice the rest of the country really warm things up. And last but not least, looking at the current storm in progress, just now starting to see a little bit of snow, just starting to come down into levels uh, uh, reported the Barry Montpelier EF Knapp Airport, also Caledonia County Airport, although this is always suspect. And uh, the rest of the area reporting rain except for Bennington, starting to see that snow starting to develop. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights, thanks for watching.